this is Brennan with Aim High Comics, and this is my contest entry video for Super Fi Comic Guys uh, Walking Dead contest. Basically, wants us to talk about what we would do if the shit hit the fan, the apocalypse. Not necessarily has to be zombies, but I may talk a little bit about that. Uh, I think the first thing I would do is gather up the family. Make sure they're all safe and secure right away. I'm in East Texas, so somewhat rural. Um, I live in a town, so I would hightail it to Arkansas, where I have uh, family there that uh, have some family that are preppers, and they live deep out in the woods where no one would bother us. The only way you could find us is if you knew we were there. Um, the people that know we're there, they're cool, so they're not going to jack with us. Um, getting there, it's about an hour and a half away. So, of course, you got to protect yourself. Uh, if you're going to get to your location, to your safe, your safe zone, um, uh, I'll get into that. First thing is, you should probably have a bug out bag. And I do have a bug out bag on my in my car. My wife's car has one. Basically, it's about three days worth of food and water in a bag. Um, and the water is, actually has a charcoal filter uh, bottle in it. So as long as there's running water somewhere, you can put it in the bottle and it filters it as you're drinking it. Uh, so that would last you know, several days, a couple of gallons plus whatever water's in the bag, but, um, uh, yeah, so, should be enough time to get to wherever I'm going, um, protection, number one thing, if you're in the apocalypse, you gotta have protection, so, my choice, my first line of defense, to reach out and touch people, and for mid-ranges, I pull out the, uh, the M4, this is a Colt military spec M4 uh, with a reflex sight. So, and it's a sight mark Z series, zombie series. So, uh, NATO rounds are in high supply, uh, very easy to find. So, this would be my first weapon that I'd go with if I was trying to take uh, take down people that are getting in my way to my safe zone. So say I'm using that and um, they're getting closer and I don't want to run out my um, valuable rounds. Next thing I go with, instead of using a pistol for that, you know, close to mid-range, use a rifle. Um, I'm going to use my World War II Air M1 carbine, 30 caliber vintage gun here but it's very effective um, great for close range I don't like using pistols I like the accuracy of a, of a rifle so this is really good for close ranges it's a light round uh, highly accurate for those headshots and if they get just super super close and I have no choice I'll pull out the Browning pistol 22 pistol Nothing fancy, just a light pistol. Um, but when I get there, I think the important thing is food and water. Um, my area that I'd go to would have a well. The well's already dug. There's plenty of water. Uh, my family uh, grows their own gardens. Even in, right now, they do. Um, and they harvest the seeds, so we have seeds to keep going. There's plenty of wildlife to hunt. Uh, for protein and it's kind of secluded where these places are that I'd be going um, so I don't think you have any problems as far as zombies or people but if they did we'd have plenty of weapons and ammo to uh, do what we're gonna do and I think when you're in the apocalypse I think the first thing you one of the first things you should do is uh, grow a beard yeah grow a beard proven scientifically to uh, give you more confidence in combat. That's why all the special forces you see 
in pictures and videos over in Iraq and Afghanistan, they all have beards. Not just because they're trying to blend in, but because it's scientifically proven to give you more confidence in combat. So I think it is important that you grow a beard. Yeah, as you can see, I'm already working on my beard here. It's a pretty badass beard, right? It's like a beard with titties. But uh, that's the main things that I would do for the apocalypse without giving away too many details. Um, hopefully this was informational and a little funny. Uh, but that's kind of stuff I would do for uh, if the apocalypse went down and zombies. So I uh, just want to give a shout out to Vince. I uh, appreciate this uh, contest. It's not really about the prize, it's about the video and just enjoying something that you're doing. So I just want to say appreciate it to him and I hope everybody enjoyed my video. Thanks.